What's up, everybody? I'm Tammy Harrison, and welcome to Mix Cocktail Hour, coming to you live from my favorite place in the whole world called Awesome Town. We have a fantastic show planned for you guys today, so without further ado, I would like you to raise your glass, and if you do not have a glass, clap your hands for my co-host, Scott Cushman! Yes. Hey. Yeah. yeah, I love that I get the claps. We should clap for Tammy real quick. Can we do that real quick? Clap Tammy me. Harrison, everybody. Oh. Woohoo! I always get the claps. Tammy deserves Thank the claps, you. though. Thank you so she much. She does the hard work. I want to give a quick shout out to some of our viewers who are in our live chat. We have Jam Garcia, we've got Kyle, of course, we've got Brandon, we've got Danny, we've got Dixie, we've got Larry. Thank you, everybody, so far for tuning in and for our viewers on TikTok. Hop on over to YouTube to join us in our live chat. Great. How are you? I'm good. I'm a little, uh, I'm soaked to the bone. It's cold. It's raining. It rains. Rain tomorrow too. Is that right? Yes. Oh God. What's happening? Oh no. The world is coming oh, to an end. No. No, I don't like this at all. No, that's like at all. where alcohol comes in. I would play. like to say that I am one of those idiots that can't drive in the rain. Now everybody else is like, people, if you can't drive in the rain, I will. Nobody ever says they can't drive in the rain. Really? I can't drive in rain. Okay. I drive like this. Yes. Like this, yes. and I go slow. Like I definitely uh -huh. am terrified. Okay. Terrified. I think that's a California thing, though, in general, mm -hmm. because obviously I've, you know, I've, I've traveled the world. Sure. And seasons, you know. I've like, heard of those. Yeah. Anyone ha who has lived through seasons yeah. can drive through rain and snow. I yeah, have why noticed not? California is a little on the uh, dangerous side. It's a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I also dangerous. grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, which hasn't oh, seen gosh. rain since 1976. Uh, so, tough town. Well. Yeah. I mean. Hey, but if it's cold and if it's rainy, what do we do? We drink. We drink. That makes the world jolly again. It does, it really does. And it makes our driving much better. Much I notice better. after I've had a few drinks, much better driver. Yeah. yeah. Your, your foot gets a little heavier on Absolutely. The I know what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah, there's a really good like rain to drink ratio that I hit. Yeah. Sailing. I thought once yeah. again, uh -huh. like I think every week. Sure, once or twice. How can we start this show off? Right. Um, national days were a little, uh, boring. So, I did another history day. Great. And I thought I'd throw something at you, which I thought was kind of interesting. Cool. Because, um, it is actually something that we've all seen and possibly used, which I'm pretty sure everyone in this room at some point or another has used this thing, uh -huh. which is quite iconic, uh -huh. and a drink was made out of it. Is it a bidet? No. It is not a bidet. Okay, it's not a bidet, I was gonna say. I know some of us have used a bidet. It is but, not a bidet. Yeah, okay. So. In 1975, in sure. Hungary, okay, this chap uh -huh. called Erno Rubik came up with a magic cube that not that many people were interested in. Did you bring in a Rubik's cube? No. I can I can solve a Rubik's cube. Anyway, Sorry. Anyway, so it took another five years for people to jump on board with this magic cube. Uh -huh. Called it right. Yeah. Uh, until 1980, today, 29th of January 1980, a toy company jumped on board and it was finally licensed out and released to the public. And it became an absolute phenomenon. Today? Today, 29th oh. of January 1980, the ideal toy company brought it to life. And do you know how many Rubik cubes have been sold since then? I mean, I know that I have bought five of them. I, I own three Fair of them enough. now and I have broken two of them. How do you break it? Because I, so I try and do speed cubing. I try and do it as fast as I possibly can. And that, sometimes it smokes. I get, I, I'm, I, I go quick and okay. smoky. Have you ever managed to finish it? I finish it all the time. They no, no, I know, I know how to finish a Rubik's Cube. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty good. Now I'm going for speed. Well, you still haven't answered my question. How many do you think you've sold since 1980? I'm gonna take, so the problem with guessing is uh, I could guess too high or I could guess too low and it would ruin the story. Okay. So I'm gonna try and guess right on and I'm gonna say yeah. eight million. Oh, Jesus. 450 million. 450 million? Four, four, five, zero million. Wow. Yes. 
So you're a bit off with your I eight. missed it by six times, yeah. <laughs> a bit off with your eight minutes. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> okay, well. a cocktail was created uh, um, for that particular reason, because uh -huh. somebody, uh, actually a, a bartender, a mixologist in Greece was a huge Rubik's Cube fan. Sure. And he made up, his name was um, Akis. Akis. Akis, of He uh, made up the Rubik's Cube cocktail, which is absolutely delicious. It has rum, it has cherry hearing, okay. it has cinnamon syrup, it has lime in it. It's because, okay, so rum is the white side. Yeah. Uh, cherry is the red side, yeah. lime is the green side. Yeah. Did he throw a blue side, an orange side, and a yellow side in there? Because no. those are those are, no. nobody start nobody starts with any of those ones. No. The the ones to start with are white. Uh, I I would start with that oh, and you, green. You I actually can start with. actually put corn, uh, a, a corn syrup, some kind of corn. Sure. So that's the yellow. That might be the yellow. Yeah. I didn't. I don't like it with that. No, no, to be gross. honest, I left that that Disgusting. bit Disgusting. But um, yeah, this is the Rubik cube. So a little history there. How fun so, is that? Yes, to Mr. Erno Rubik. Rubik. Yeah. The Rubik guy. The Rubik guy. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. I love my Rubik's Cube. I, uh, I certainly sit and play with it when I uh, can't come up with cocktails, uh, which almost happened this week. Having a very difficult time. What? With hats? What's that? What do you have a difficult time with? Oh, which is with cocktails. Coming up with no, no. Oh. Our, our hats are wonderful. No, it's perfect. Our I hats love that are great. I'm you're wearing one today. It's weird. No, it's not. Look, you look great. You look like you're gonna go chop some wood somewhere. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, but instead, I know. So I sat around for a long time trying to like, what is on my mind? What is on my mind? Yeah. Like, what can we do cocktails with? Yeah. It was raining outside mm. as I was thinking. Mm. So clearly, I didn't think about it until yesterday. Yes. But still, okay. uh, I did decide that I was going to do rainy day cocktails today. <gasps> cocktails I mean, that have to do with the rain and the snow on the uh, on the East Coast. What is more fitting? We have snow here too, Big Bear. It snowed in Malibu. It snowed in Malibu? Uh -huh. Are they okay? Malibu Mountains. They're gonna yeah, sell absolutely. their houses, I imagine. Quick shout out to uh, to Tex, uh, to Tell, to Betty. Um, and we also have Matt in the house as well. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Awesome. Let's, I love you too, Tex. Let's get to uh, more drinking. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Uh, we are going to start off with a classic tiki cocktail. Yum. Of course. Uh, when it rains in LA, it is nice and warm here, but it still rains. What do you get? Wet. You get wet. That is true. Yeah. This is called the wet cutter. Uh, no, no. Uh, we get fog that instead. We get yeah, fog. That's true. Uh, this next uh, co or this first cocktail is going to be called the fog uh, cutter. It was originally a, a Trader Vic cocktail. Uh, who again? Ooh. We know my feelings on Vic, but know, when it's... he threw together a cocktail, it's like you want to hate him so bad, I do. and you cannot. I try so bad to hate yeah. this man, and yeah. he just keeps coming back in my life. Uh, the reason that we can definitely tell that this is a Vic cocktail yeah. splits the base all over the place. Just takes the base, the liquor that's supposed to go into it, he just takes it, throws it all over the place, puts whatever he can in the kitchen, yeah. and he's good to go. So it's like a left, what I have left in my kitchen? It is very much drink. like a whatever you have left. Okay. Uh, I feel like a lot of Vic's uh, cocktails were just him trying to get rid of everything. Yeah. He's just like, this is, this, this is not going well. Hey, if it tastes good, why not? Why not? Yeah, get Let's it in the water. Let's see if it tastes good, I don't know. Let's see, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, no. I'm gonna try and make it my very best, but I, I can never tell. Uh, shall we begin? I'll let you know. Thank you, please do. Now again, don't judge me on this. We're gonna start over here uh, by grabbing some of this guy right here. This is white rum. Yes. Uh, tiki drink. Uh, you can make them without rum, but, but why? people will be upset. But why do that? People will be upset. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw this uh, in here at one and a half ounces okay. uh, for this fog cutter. Uh, we are then going to continue to break our base apart uh, by adding some gin. Uh, oh. Now, uh, a fun a little situation. Uh, next week, uh, I will be here, Tammy, He's taking the week off. I Tammy is gonna oh, probably. I will be here. Yeah. I will be in Tammy the chat. Tammy might go traveling. Chatting her, away. Yeah. Uh, but I will be here with uh, Robert from Strongwater. Yeah. And he and I will be doing, uh, competing gin tiki cocktails. That's we will be doing be nothing but tiki cocktails. I cannot wait to see that competition. A little nervous. It's gonna be a tiki off. A tiki off. Yeah. A tea cough. Yeah, tea cough. Yeah, it's gonna yes. be. It's gonna be yeah. odd. Uh, we're gonna be putting in one half of an ounce of this delish gin. Something nice and dry, mm -hmm. uh, round out uh, this whole thing. Uh, next thing we're gonna be grabbing is brandy. 
Now this oh, is wow. a he cognac. did grab everything on he his really cabinet, did. didn't he? Really did. He's not done yet. Okay. He oh. hasn't finished yet. No, no, he's still okay. he's still grabbing away. We have this guy right here. This is cognac. Cognac is a brandy. It is just made from a very specific type of grape. We're gonna be putting in half of an ounce of that stuff right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Which brings us to our next ingredient: lemon squeeze. Uh, we're gonna it. go ahead and slice a lemon right in half. Do you need a knife? Uh, no, I have a knife. Because Do I, I knife? don't have one, so. No, no, good. Oh, good. Well, then, thank you for offering. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this lemon. We're going to squeeze the juice of one lemon. We're looking for about one ounce okay. of lemon juice, if you got it. Nice. Oh, my God. Thank goodness that was there. Could wouldn't catch wouldn't it be the first time. It wouldn't be the first time. showered me in. And will not be the last. Lemon juice, yeah. lime. Uh, the orange was the first one. When orange I, uh, was the first one, I started one, yeah. attacking Grapefruit. with the orange juice. All the fruits. Basically. Listen, I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. That's all there is to it. Uh, we're gonna be putting in some fresh squeezed OJ. Nice. I have squeezed it before I got here. You did it yourself. I really? did it myself so that wow. we cannot, so that we are not uh, spraying Tammy with orange juice. Although Beautiful. with your little outfit, Beautiful. it would match. Yes. Two full ounces this of that. This one you wouldn't actually see. Oh, quick shout out to Dave. What's Dave, up, Dave is one of our favorites. Big kisses to you, Dave, to um, Florida. As far as I. Well, there you go, Dave. Well done. Well done. Way, way to be in Florida. Uh, last thing, second to last thing we're going to add is going to be this guy. Oh, I know what that is. What is it? Orjat. Orjat. Ah. Very, very good. What is the French term for, or what, what does uh, orjat mean in French? Almond? It does not, although that is what it is made of now. Oh. Orjat was originally oat water. Ugh. Oat water. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good. Gross. So now, now we make it with almonds. It is much almond. better. Way better almond. Half an ounce of that, if you yeah. please. Now we're gonna give this a big fat shake. Uh, as okay, we so we do. got some interesting taste in this. We got a little bit of our nutty thing going on. We've got a little bit of our, well, with the brandy, it's more the the wine yep. sort of element in there. Then we got, of course, our. Uh, sweet, sweetness from the rum, I yeah. guess, a little Well, bit. the sweetness, the obviously, from the OJ is where really, really we're getting, the yeah. And the, uh, and the orgeat, those are our sweet uh, elements to this. And then, of course, the the gin is gonna give that bit of dry, that's, a, this sounds weird. It sounds weird, and it is sounds actually not finished yet. We have oh. one more ingredient that we do have to add, but we're gonna float that. Uh, so get your sherry ready. On the count of three, we're gonna shake this, oh. Tammy, ready? Here we go, one, ready. two, three. There it is. Uh, Tammy, do you mind handing me one of those uh, uh, tall glasses, the columns? Yeah. Thank you. We're going to pump and dump this. We're just going to pour this in with all of the uh, drink that we have here. Wow. Uh, that is how that looks. And last ingredient, we are going to float a dry sherry, an Almontillo uh, sherry, uh, right on top of this. More so for the initial taste and all of the smell that it'll give you. Okay. That is what we want. So uh, go ahead and take some Almontillo sherry, float it right on top so you have this beautiful line uh, right there. You see how that guy goes? Yeah, you yeah. have sort of a, uh, a gradation uh, there. It starts off dark, ends off sort of yellow. Uh, we are going to garnish this with a bit of mint that I brought back from the dead. We're gonna slap that, throw this into here. And wow, we so that's have rum, gin, brandy, Sherry, lime, orange, or jatz. Yeah. And that other stuff. No, what else did you put on there? No, that that's it. No, that's it. Oh. And that is what we have, Tam. That sounds, I don't know. It sounds intense. It is a very classic, classic cocktail. Can I throw a uh, straw in it? Uh, I don't no, care. No, I'm not supposed to. No, no, throw a straw in it. Well, how are you supposed to do it? Because uh, throw a straw in there. Uh, just, uh, if you have a shorter straw, because you do want to smell that sherry. Well, how about I smell it before I drink it? That, perfect. Tammy, look at you. Captain of industry you are. Oh, so smart. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, all that yeah. sherry, all that yeah, mint. The sherry, the minty thing. Yeah. Very orangey. Yeah. Oh no, I'm scared. It's a lot. It is a great hangover cure, no matter what Cheers, you were drinking everyone. last night. Okay. Why is that really good? It's really good, it's odd, right? 
That's it's weird. It's odd. It's an odd one. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. I, again, really I want to hate Trader Vic. It's like Vic. refreshing. It doesn't even taste alcoholic. No. This is strange. It's odd. Uh, the, the rum, the gin, the mm. brandy, they all come together to like... This is delicious. Have a little party in a glass, mint on top, sherry floating. This is, that's a magic trick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was a very talented bartender, I hate to say. What a dork. Yeah, you want to hate him, but guess what? I love him. I love this guy. Vic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Trader Vic. Vic. He's been dead for a long time, thank God. He's watching from somewhere. Yeah. Heaven. Yes. From the, from the cocktail heavens. <laughs> from, oh, he got to raise heaven. This is delicious. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I always dig that one. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. I, I, I'm, my mind is still... I was expecting to taste this incredibly weird, very strongly alcoholic sipper, to now, be honest. That's a slammer. That's a slammer? That's a slammer. That's a, that's a slammer hammer. <laughs> that is what that is. That's that what is I what that is. Guy. I'm gonna drink it from here. It is, yeah, mm. at a pool somewhere. Yeah, that'll get you down. But I bet if I drank this, it'll get me real warm real quick. Real quick, real warm, and it'll cut all yeah. the fog from your life. We'll cut all the fog. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Brandon says it's so cool looking. Yeah, it is cool a cool looking, looking cocktail. And cool tasting. We have to make this. We have sure. a uh, we have a few more Cheers, fun Tex. cocktails looking. Yeah. Hey Tex. Oh, great. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tex. Uh, I'm sure will uh, comment on my clothing. Uh, does an awful lot. Oh, Always very concerned well. when I'm not wearing a black T-shirt, as if maybe I'm being held hostage. Uh, Tex, I promise I will blink twice what? if these people are keeping me against Funny my enough, will. It was actually it was actually Danny last week. Is that the, Danny? No, he said the first thing that he noticed uh -huh. was not the sign. Okay. Yeah. It was that you were not wearing. Was a, not in Which player. is funny because that was when I first noticed that you weren't wearing. <laughs> Thank hurry. you. That's how much yeah. I looked at you. Tammy the diva, just <laughs> walking around, not looking at me. Crazy. Yep. Anyway. We don't start talking until the camera rolls. Apparently. Exactly. Weird. Uh, also, quick shout out to uh, Reed to Paul. What's up, Reed and Paul? Uh, Kush, do you still have his coasters? Uh, yes, <laughs> Paul and Reed. Uh, I have both of your coasters. Uh, Paul, uh, just text me your address. Uh, Reed, uh, you sent me a postcard from somewhere. I'm not oh, no, exactly Reed, sure. Reed just says hi to me. Oh, hi, Reed. Not to oh. Me. Well, I'm also saying hi to Reed. Reed is a friend of mine. Hello, Reed. Well, he's uh, my friend in the chat. Well, hello, fine. <laughs> Reed, fine. Whatever, dude. And my dad is asking about Winston. Dad, I've told you before, Winston is banned from our bar. Absolutely, he's 86. He's currently at home. Absolutely, Please 86. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sad day. All right, I say uh, let's do drink numero dos. Let's get there. So uh, we are uh, with this little prep that has to go on with this uh, drink, okay. Tammy. So we're gonna start off by warming up some milk. Uh, right. We're looking for about five ounces, but we always want to warm up just a touch more in case some of it evaporates. Uh, we are going to just be uh, slowly heating up some milk as we go. There we go. Uh, Oh, what are we gonna use this milk again? There we go. We'll just, yes, we're we not gonna will, save we milk. Yes. Sorry, I was trying to be so <laughs> conservative with it, and uh -huh. uh, here we are. Oh, did that not turn on? One sec. Oh, this has to be plugged in. Yeah. Mine. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, that's how that works. Is the light on? Oh, look, Lori. Oh, yeah, Lori Wee says my husband used to drink fog cutters in the seventies when we were dating. Yeah. We yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Lori, you got yourself a real man. That's when Trader Vic was alive, though, right? Trader Vic was alive in the 70s. I believe he died in the 80s. I don't okay. really care that much about Trader Vic, so I assume that he died. Oh. I don't care when he died. Okay. Whatever. He can just, oh, just and, die uh, whenever he wants. Danny says Arsh. about Danny says about <laughs> Winston uh, that he will be banned over at home as well soon. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is Winston going to live? Well, um... Not with me. With me. Um, we uh, we are going to be making wow, a drink. Wow, what's that? So uh, this is basically raw egg. Uh, so we are going to be making a, a drink today like that is a egg. classic, classic cocktail. Yeah. Called the Tom and Jerry. Now, of course, there is a uh, a rat and a cat uh, situation also called the Tom and Jerry, uh, but that did not come. I could not memorize the name of this, the name yeah. of, of where this came from, so yeah. I did uh, write it down on my phone. Um, uh, this uh, is not uh, named after the rat and cat, uh, uh, Character. yeah, characters. Yeah, it was named. Uh, those two were actually named after this drink. Uh, which was done in a book. It was a, they got the name from a book uh, from a man named Egan. 
Egan. Egan. Okay. And he wrote a book called Life in London, uh -huh. or the Day and Night Scenes of Jerry Hawthorne Esquire. Is that like and his, I'm book? sorry, Tammy, yeah. I am not finished. <laughs> One second. This is the longest name I'm of a book. I'm gonna start over. I don't know. We're gonna go over time. I'm sure we're gonna go over time okay, today. No, please, uh, let us know. Uh, the, uh, Life in London, mm. or the day and night scenes of Jerry Hawthorne Esquire and his elegant friend, Corinthian Tom. One Ooh. book. The name of one book. Sounds delightful. It's, I'm sure Sounds it was. like an easy read. They made it into a play. They did. Uh, three people went, uh, from what I understand. Uh, not a big, uh, not a big hit. We're gonna turn this on. Just a touch more so we can. Well, I was gonna say the name Egon sounds very Austrian because I know the painter Egon Schiele, and Corinthian also to me Corinthia is the lower part of Austria. That's not right. Austria. So this he, Egan might have been Austrian. Are these Austrian people? This, this might be an Austrian this situation. Very Austrian to me. I didn't get too deep into it. I got tired after reading the name of the, <laughs> uh, of the book. I got sleepy. <laughs> You're already done. Yeah, the I was. Title. Yeah, I don't, I don't read that much anymore. I play Monster Hunter on PC now. That's what I do. Oh. Uh, we are going to stir this up. What this yeah. is right here, this is a Tom and Jerry batter. Meaning? You have to, so you have to, you have to make this batter before. And if you guys look, like it's, it's, it's just like batter. So it is, uh, it is a, a, a whipped egg, yeah. uh, a whipped egg whites yeah. folded back into sugared egg. Uh, folds, the, the yellow part, yolk, yolk, of course, the yellow, yellow egg yolks. Uh, uh, it has uh, cinnamon and nutmeg. Uh, it has uh, that's vanilla. Good, that's a good waffles. It's very much like, yeah, so it is it is batter. I mean, it literally is just like thick, thick batter. Uh, what we have to do is we are going to be making this uh, inside of one of these cups okay. uh, called mugs, I suppose. And we're gonna be uh, eyeballing about two full ounces of that. So go ahead and throw that. Uh, right in there. Now, as we're waiting for this, oh my God, it's so good, Sammy. So, I just want to drink it. We're um, gonna drink raw batter. Uh, yeah, well, I'm we're also we're gonna we're gonna add some booze here in a minute. Oh. Uh, but I do, as we're waiting for this to go, I want to get the whipped cream uh, aspect of this going. Now, I make a delicious. Um, a whipped cream uh, that I like to think of as marshmallowed whipped cream. Uh, I start with this thing uh, right here, uh, which is uh, vanilla, sugar, and rum. Mm. Uh, that is all that is in there. If you guys uh, can see, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, as I pour it out, I'll show you. Uh, there is a little bit of vanilla that I do keep in there. There we go. Yeah. So this is uh, just uh, my vanilla, uh, vanilla bean. bean. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So it gets more vanilla-y, more marshmallow-y as we let it sit. Uh, then we have to grab some uh, heavy cream. Uh, so that was, uh, uh, was a little sugar, that was a little rum. Yeah. Uh, and now we have to uh, add to, I should open this well beforehand. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add uh, two uh, cups of heavy cream. Straight. Okay, so it's not for people on a diet? No, 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 no. No, uh, if you're on a diet, this was the wrong day to tune in yeah, to yeah. our show. Uh, we're gonna screw this guy. Uh, on right here, and then we are going to add dinitrous oxide. Dinitrous oxide, uh, which is this uh, guy right here. Uh, dinitrous oxide is uh, NAS. Uh, it is also known as laughing gas. That's what we're uh, that's what we're adding into here. Uh, Isn't that also called something else? Uh, uh, yeah, it's called a great. It's called a whip it. Is what it's called. Yes, that is what it's called. Yes, Tammy knew it. it. Tammy knew it by its technical <laughs> name, the whip it. Uh, yes. Tammy, big fan of the Grateful Dead. Not a lot of people know that. Yes, whip uh, it. Yeah, she loves fish and the Grateful Dead. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, this going right here. We're gonna give this a few shakes. Uh, just to make sure that we have our, yeah, that's, I guess this does count as a shake, yeah. It's a shake, but very silent. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give this a shake to make sure that all of that dinitrous oxide is in there. Yes. We're gonna hit it with one more uh, little uh, tuber okay. right here so that we have all of this. Now this is instead of carbonating it, uh, the dinitrous oxide has, um, has smaller bubbles, which oh. is what makes it sort of foam up. Uh, that is what we got going. So this is uh, very hot. We don't want it to be boiling. This is nice and hot. So let's begin to build uh, the rest of the cocktail. We have our batter mm -hmm. in the glass. Yeah. We have our milk that is warm. How much of the batter is in there again? About two ounces. Two About ounces. two full okay. ounces of okay. batter. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna reach behind here and grab uh, some uh, dark rum. Actually, you have the dark rum over there. Would you mind grabbing that for me? The uh, plantation uh, would be gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna be putting in one full ounce of this 
right there. And yum. one, oh, what's that? I just said yum. Yum. Oh my God, that was so good. My only comment, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and then one full ounce of uh, delicious uh, cognac or some sort of, of uh, brandy again. I have a little theme going when I get, uh, brandy keeps you when I get warm. rainy. Brandy keeps you warm. No brandy does what. definitely keep you warm. So we have uh, that uh, in here. We are then going to be adding in four to six ounces of our warm milk okay. into this whole thing. So right there, turn this off so we don't have burning milk. Beautiful. Oh, and Danny says, Pierce Egan. Oh, it's his last name was Egan. Oh, it's his last oh, name. And thank you so much, uh, Danny Vasquez. Uh, Pierce Egan was in fact British, not Austrian. So glad. Thank you, Danny. I, uh, again, so glad I got so tired reading the name <laughs> of, that, uh, of that book. I could not continue to remember his what? name. Uh, we're going to give this just a little bit of marshmallow whipped cream on top right in through here. Now this does Ooh. have some rum in it. Ooh, there so when that go. melts, that goes right back. So when this, the... yeah, when it melts, it gets right back into it. Uh, it becomes a, uh, even more, so there's rum in the batter, yeah. there's rum in here, yeah. there's rum in the whipped cream. Uh, this should be like a, um, uh, yeah, like a marshmallow. It should be a, like a marshmallow whip on top <gasps> and then uh, the rest of it. This is the classic cocktail, the Tom, and Jerry, uh, named after uh, some uh, Esquire named Tom and some Corinthian named Jerry. And I probably flipped wonder, those. Why, I wonder why it is called Tom and Jerry though. What has it got to do with the milk and the rum and the whipped cream and the, what is, what's the story behind Jamie, that? Jamie, please don't make me read that article okay. again. Oh, oh, <laughs> the name was so that, awful. Is that I just past tried. the title? Yeah, okay. I just tried. Never mind. I tried. I couldn't get to it. We'll look that up Yeah, let's day. Just, yeah, somebody else. Honestly, uh, somebody wants to look that up and tell us more about it, uh, you will get uh, three free, uh, uh, one of the, the coasters. Oh, coasters. You'll get coasters. Uh, okay. Anybody wants to look that up right now? Uh, let me know. Well, I'll try it. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's Please. see. Yeah, I filled it up a little high. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's tough to beat that. Mm. It's tough to beat that. Yeah, a, a, a true tr it's Tom like and a Jerry. Yummy, milky marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, it's so warm. It's so warm. It gets it. India. It's. Uh, it was. Uh, it was a uh, mm. the alternative. Uh, to a, a great cocktail called the eggnog. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. People didn't want to uh, continue to do the eggnog. They wanted to have sort of a batter they could keep off to the side this and then is... add the milk to it oh, and go like from a, there. This is like an elevated, like a super elevated yeah. eggnog. Yeah, it's very much. Uh, Wait, I need it, some of the, the... Oh yeah, get that whipped cream in you. Just drive that into your belly. That stuff is awesome. Get in my pie hole. Yeah, yeah, get it right in your pie hole. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could just do it with a whipped cream. Yeah, there's no way to, here, I mean, I'll join you. Mm, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, it's come so on. good. Come on. Mm, Put that good. on anything. <laughs> Put nothing, it's just straight in your mouth. It just doesn't, it doesn't right? stop. Mm. I love that. It's just gonna go bad. Mm. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Do I have anything on my beard? No. <laughs> yeah. Do I, I really? On I cleaned it off good. Good. We don't care. I do a little bit. I'm on the TV. Um, Betty says, uh, "Hate eggnog." Well, guess what? More for us. Yeah. That's you're definitely missing out on this one. Yeah. Well, you, don't. Well, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. It's serious. Like you don't know what you're missing, yeah. babe. You would like this stuff. This stuff's oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. We've got to stop drinking it now. We won't have anything left to show. We're going to do my <laughs> That is my, true. My recap. Well, we'll make another one. It doesn't, we'll it doesn't take that long. <laughs> exactly. I talked through a lot of it. And that the name of that title took up half of the, the, the stupid Jack. drink. Well, we have a cocktail book somewhere. We could even look it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's not in there. I don't even know. I don't know. Why well, is just setting up the third drink? Let's yeah. see. So. It's not in there. It's not in there. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, right. we know. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let it's me set checked. up. Let me set up this last one. I do have a yeah. slight uh, costume change. Oh, you do? Uh, if you don't mind, for no, the last geez. one. Oh, that's exciting. One yeah, I, I think it is. That's so let me awesome. Just go ahead and put on oh, okay. this guy. Oh, all right. Uh, right here. Okay. And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. Is that. Okay. So, you know what rains like in LA? Like, isn't it crazy how, like, sometimes you're just like sitting around in LA and, like, water just falls to the ground? Oh, do I look so like a dope totally. bartender? I'm doing my dope bartender thing. Well, then push you my, like a, you I push my hat back just to touch. You need a tattoo sleeve. Oh man, too. yeah, like yeah, what? Yeah. Huh? 
This is. I can do a good Valley Girl accent. It's yeah. Like, oh my God, he was so totally like totally calling me all the time, and I was like, no, uh, uh, I'm not home. Stop calling me. Like he's so annoying. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You and I would have hooked up is if that, we were these is that characters. Convincing. You and I would have absolutely hooked up if those if these were our actual personalities. He was so. We annoying. would have rough oh times. We'd have rough times ahead of us, Tammy. Uh, no, I wanted to put on my LA bartender outfit. I love it. Very hipster. Very. Uh, that's what I was going for. Very you, hipster. You don't know it. You got the. You got the beanie. They're under oh, here. Yeah. The skinny jeans are deep, are under here. Uh, it's yeah. it's no, a it's lot. Very convincing. It's a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to uh, make a cocktail uh, that uh, was the way that I feel about rain in Los Angeles. Okay. It is a much bigger deal uh -huh. than anybody really than it, than it should be. This is a it very. It is for me too, though. But it probably it's for everybody. The exact but you're living in LA. Opposite. For you. It's a huge deal when it rains here in Like LA. it's a happy thing for me, but probably not a good thing for you. I don't mind it. Oh, it's great. It's a super happy thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. I wanted to make a cocktail that was based on a lot of other, uh, like ba based on a very LA cocktail okay. uh, called uh, called the uh, Long Island Iced Tea. Yes. I wanted to make my own version of the Long Island Iced Tea called the LA Rain. <gasps> The LA rain. So this is what happens when it so rains in LA. This is a Scott Cushman original. This is a Scott Cushman original, uh, and we are going to try and knock this one out real quick. Uh, there are about 15 ingredients, uh, so uh, be prepared. Uh, if anybody wants to go read that Wikipedia article about uh, <laughs> about Tom and Jerry right now, and now's a good time because we well, have a little like bit. You're being like Trader Vic now, then, aren't you? You're grabbing everything that you had in your cabinet. I and really it in a am, and this is gonna get annoying here in a second. So uh, let's start with all of the three quarters. Yeah, We're huh. doing uh, a bunch of three quarters. So yes. uh, let's reach back here. Uh, first of all, three quarters of an ounce of white rum. I've used this bottle in every drink. It is the winner I love today. It. I love it. Congratulations, this bottle. You have won. Three quarters of an ounce of this guy. Yep. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of dark rum. Tammy, you have my dark rum. Yes. I have my dark rum. Oh, uh, no, I stole it from me. Three quarters of an ounce of dark rum uh, right here. Now, uh, the next ingredient is something we have never used on the show and I never used as a bartender. Uh, but yes, uh, but I did feel like it was necessary uh, today. This is a called coconut rum. <gasps> coconut rum. Ooh. Coconut Why rum. Why have we never used this before? Cause it's gross. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's just gross. No, it's uh, not. It's fine. It's fine. It makes you, it makes you stupid. Uh, I when I first started drinking, like when I first can started. Can I smell it? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. Honestly, you can put it behind your ears. It's awesome. This stuff is great. Who would love coconut? That's what we do anyway. I know. I know. I might as well have one thing. I feel like such a failure. I'm putting coconut oh, rum in the cocktail. It just smells like suntan lotion. I know. It does. It smells like suntan lotion. That's the problem. It's so good. Yeah, it's great for. For hating yourself. Uh, I love it. I mean, next, thing we're gonna be putting in here. We're gonna go. We're gonna try and uh, get some uh, get some Ness back. We're gonna go ahead and put some in manliness some Ness. Drink. Some Ness. We're gonna put in some gin. Okay. The manliest drink there oh. is. Yes. I don't know Paul if that's says true. you look like every bartender in Silver Lake. Yes, thank there. you, Paul. That was what I was going for. Yes. I feel like I nailed it. I, Tammy is right, though. Uh, I think having uh, the sleeve. Uh, would have been uh, the oh, way yeah. to go. Only on one arm, though. Just on one arm. Just one arm. Yeah, I have a few. Uh, yeah. Some of my you best friends. You don't have the money yet to do both. Some of my best friends uh, do have that. I do think it looks cool on you guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in a three-quarter ounce pour of? of vodka. Of course. Vodka. Yes. Got to bump that up. We're all on diets. So wait, so we got rum, works. gin, and vodka, vodka in here already, and vodka. I just pulled the vodka down. Oh, it goes over here. You got rum, gin, and vodka in here. Rum, gin, vodka in there already. And you hate Trader Vic. Well, I'm listen. I mean, I, it's a it's a it's a, a cold day. I need all the booze I can get in me. Uh, next thing I need, uh, Tammy, I believe you have it over there. It's going have? to be triple sec. All right up there, that Bowles bottle. Third one in, fourth one yeah. in. Yes, thank you. Balls. Love Beautiful. It. Three quarters of an ounce of that, if you please. Three quarters of an ounce, right there. And there is a uh, there is a cocktail a version of the Long Island iced tea that is called the Grateful Dead uh, or the LA Water. And what you float in that is going to be Chambord, which you also oh. have. Can I get three quarters of an ounce of the Chambord? Yes. Beautiful. I love Chambord. Oh my God. Ah, there we go. Three quarters of an ounce of delicious Chambord. This is a raspberry liqueur. 
very, very oh, nice. Tomoko's just tuned in as well, and Jay also said uh, that he has that coconut rum. Never used it, so now he knows what to use it for. Now you do. You, you only go. have to go buy six other bottles to get this thing going. Six of them possible. Yeah, that is all you need. And a shout out to Tomoko. Yeah, Tomoko. Uh, we are going to then uh, start adding in our one and uh, one and a half to one and a quarter. We're going to go short pours of one and a quarter uh, ounces of the um, orange juice. Yeah. So one and a quarter, one and a half, right around there is what we're looking for. And then one and a quarter, one and a half pineapple juice. Right there, yeah. This thing is gonna be intense. Uh, so all in all, what does that make it? Uh, that makes it uh, one and a half, three. Makes it about six, about five ounces of booze uh, in a single cocktail. Way even more than than the than the Papa Doble from Hemingway. It is more than a what was Papa Hemingway? Doble. Four ounces of gin. It is four ounces orange. of uh, rum. Rum. Uh, yes, uh, it is. It is an awful lot. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, Tammy, yes. uh, handing me a, one more of the tall glasses. We're just gonna prep oh. our glass. Uh, I did uh, originally get this idea uh, from a hurricane uh, because I wanted to okay. uh, act like, you know, when people in LA uh, hear that there's rain coming, yeah. it's like everywhere else in the world uh, hear a hurricane coming. Now, we don't have hurricane glasses uh, here, so I'm just gonna give this one a little hurricane twist. Uh, it is going to twist all the way down through the cocktail as much as we can get it. So we're gonna take all of the lemon uh, peel as much as we can get off of it right there. And we are going to twist this guy around on the inside, Beautiful. setting this up for success. There we go. So now we have like a spinny, I, I know that that's a tornado. Uh, I grew up in a place that has no weather. Uh, so I don't know yeah. the difference between a tornado and a hurricane. Weather. Which it's is why- dry sunshine. Yes, it's dry sunshine. Which is why I, I uh, 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 immediately amended my story to the whole Long Island iced tea thing. Yes. Uh, because about three minutes before the show started, mm -hmm. I realized that tornadoes and hurricanes uh, are certainly different things. Uh, very different. Uh, I didn't realize that. So uh, yeah. I did uh, technically have to look that up on my phone. A hurricane is like a big tornado. Yeah, well, this is a really, really tiny tornado. So let's go ahead and give this a shake. Same situation, we wanna use that ice one more time. Spilt it all over my cool uh, look. No, now I look like an idiot. No, that's what the shirt is there for. <laughs> now I look like an idiot. That's yeah. what the shirt is there for. <laughs> now I look like a dummy. I mean, Kilovab says, how can I get a shot at winning some coasters? Well, guess what? We will announce that after I taste this drink. That is right. Uh, so uh, that is that. Well, yeah, did anybody did anybody give us our, our more facts about Tom and Jerry? No. Anybody, no? Well. No, they're just all saying hi. And, that's how I thought you would have won them. And uh, Reed says, next week's guest, Robert Strongwater, puts coconut rum in the Zombie King. Oh, so uh, yeah, Reed is know. the apostle of Tiki. Uh, Reed knows an awful lot about Tiki, so I know Reed will be here next week. Uh, next week, ah. we we will have uh, two dueling tea. I don't know if we'll be dueling. I'm just saying it is. that for. It's a, it's a duel. I think it's gonna be a fight. I think honestly, fight this. Fight to the death. Yeah, you guys, uh, you, you'll buy the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Yeah. Is how that's gonna work out. Exactly. Uh, just come on out. <laughs> you pay for the whole seat. You only need the edge. Oh, you need the edge. <laughs> yeah. So uh, stick around for that, guys. Uh, and uh, Tammy, that right there is uh, Kush and Kush tenders. L.A. Rain. L.A. Rain. Oh God, I'm so nervous about that See one. See how this tastes. <laughs> I'm this so nervous. This I'm so stuff. nervous this is gonna go viral. Smells good. It does smell Very good. lemony. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? I was gonna just like, trick you. Oh, it just gets panicking into everything. your soul. It just makes Ooh. you feel like you're 19 again, sneaking into LA bars. This is like a real smooth tiki drink. Yeah, yeah, it's got that whole thing. Yeah, it definitely uh, mm. makes me feel like uh, I'm going into another manager meeting. That's what that this makes. That's what that drink makes me feel like. Very, I gotta give it to you. Very balanced, delicious. Yeah. Flavorful. I'm stunned just like with the first one, you threw in the kitchen sink and yeah. everything else and it, st and it tastes fantastic. Yeah, and I, I do feel like Very this is good. a great cocktail mm. to wish that the rain would go away. This is a great spot to yeah, be in as you're drinking this. Yeah, drink two of these and you'll yeah. be out and the rain will <laughs> yeah, exactly. wake up when the yeah. sun's out again. I'll probably better go catch some of that rain and yeah. drink it. 
Exactly. No, it's delicious because you get a hint of like almost every ingredient that's in there. Mm -hmm. it makes a little tiny cameo in in the movie of this drink. And that's right. Yeah. That's right. Should I push my so beanie back just even more? I'm gonna push my beanie back just a touch more from when you just said. Oh my god. Now I look even is, cooler. This is so delicious. Look how the the further you push your beanie back, the cooler you yeah, look. Yeah. There you go. See. Watch yeah. this. That is how it works. It's true. Yeah. It's like on the on the brink of sliding yeah. off. There's a really cool church right down the uh, the street from me. They they wear these tiny little beanies on the top. It's called like a synagogue, something on. like that. I, they are the it. coolest, dude. Every time I see them, those are the coolest dudes. I've tried it. I've even tried it with these guys with my berets. Yeah. I've tried. It. Always, it does one of those like almost like a like a um... yarmulke. A yarmulk? Almost, almost like that. Like a no, yarmulk. But it, it holds on the on the thing and then it flies off. Yeah. It doesn't, my head is not made for that. I believe that uh, people that but, dress like I am dressed like now have a budget for beanies. I believe that they lose enough of them. They must have them. double sided tape on the inside because it doesn't. Um, I should have thought about it that. It doesn't, maybe that's a trick. I don't know. It doesn't work for me. I go, this is, this is me. Um, but I've got to give it to you. That there you go. Very what, delicious. What's my cool <laughs> I don't know what that's called. That's called a triple yarn. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we do want to give away some coasters. Let's give them away, yeah. So um, uh, I thought a fun question yeah. would be, uh, who who is the... Oh, let's do it like oh, this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. Let's do what you want. Oh, all right. Tammy, go ahead. <laughs> we, will both be we will both be doing one. We'll be giving two coasters away apiece. I was going to go off your story. No, I was going to say, do people <laughs> remember who created Tom and Jerry? Oh, that's a good one. I was going to say, uh, can anybody give us the first name of Rubik? Look at us. I know exactly who's going to know that. Okay, well, then they'll get and two coasters. if that person is still tuned in, he will know. Because it's very similar to... Give us the first name of, uh, of uh, the Rubik and give us the first name of Eslin and you will win coasters. If they can give me the first... Mister, no, Mister is not the first. That's person. hilarious, the though. Really, name. really funny. I mean, really close. I mean, bright. That is a bright. Uh, that's a bright audience that we have there. There's gotta be six coasters. We will give away six coasters. I don't know how this show is still alive. We are sinking. We are a sinking ship. Please. Okay. Nobody. Don't know yet. It's all coming. We're on a slight time delay, so. If you don't, don't mind? Know. I'm just gonna make a cocktail. No, do it. I'm gonna sip more on your uh, on your cocktail here. Mm -hmm. All right. So if I need to also make a little recap here, we can do a little, we can do a little recap. Um, what was the name of the first one? Uh, the first one was called the Fog Cutter. That's right, Fog Cutter. Then we have your, which I need another sip right now. Yeah. Not mine. I did not create this one. I did uh, a lot of the no, ingredients are stuff that I uh, that I uh, did come around to. Um, the Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, of yeah. course. Um, and then, of course, the LA Rain. The LA Rain. Whew. Okay, this comes in third. Dang. Yeah, screw you, Vic. Screw third you, Vic. one. You got third place. Screw you, Vic, right now. Idiot. Um, what a dumb idiot. Oof. This is this is very difficult because this I would absolutely slam during the day. Sure. This I would absolutely slam at night. Yeah. So it's a very, this might be an even second place. It doesn't matter. Vic came in third and that's all we care about. <laughs> we care about the loser, Trader Ooh. Vic. Jay <laughs> is very close with Erna. Can we give it to Jay? Yes, we'll give it to Jay. Jay, you've won it. Congratulations, uh, no. Jay. You win 12 coasters, sir. You win 3,000 coasters. <laughs> Sorry, Jay, we can only give you six. It's, Apparently, we can only give you Jay. six. Jay to is keep the this, winner. To keep well, this show soluble. Well done. Um, yes, absolutely. I would say this is a uh, definite third place. This would have, both of these are even uh, first. Great. There is no second. I will take it. I will take it to yes. to compete up to go up against a drink like the Tom and Jerry. Yeah. And come in uh, tied. Day night. Very happy. This is the ultimate day. Tammy gonna be wasted. And night. Yeah, <laughs> Tammy. Gonna be. Yeah, so... Tammy's gonna be drunk, dialing. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, Scott, well done. I'm already warm right now. Yeah. You need to make yours. You need to slam that or something. Cheers. Cheers. To you. This is a garbage uh, uh, fog cutter from the garbage human. It's a delicious fog cutter from the garbage it's human. It's great. I'm not saying this is this is oh. bad or anything. Whatever. It's, it's just not as good it as these good. as these other two. So, I feel warmer. Yeah, me too. 
Do you really? Well, just well, I put, put on this your, stupid thing and I've been wearing a beanie on. this whole time. We're not outside still. I'm alone. This I'm so hot. I'm gonna be so are you, sweaty. Are you really oh warm? God damn it! I'm in I'm, I'm in warm. hell. I'm in pain. I'm wearing a hat. This is Mary, the worst. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not actually that. Warm. Oh my God. Well, yeah. You you weigh half of what I weigh. You are no. you are doing fine. You are you are set for this indoor weather. I am like a bear. I'm like a gross bear. Well, I'm like warm now. I'm actually warm now. Thank you to these to these drinks. Yeah, perfect. So thank you for mixing all this stuff up. You're so up. welcome, Tim. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I have a week off next week. It'll be you and Robert. Yes, very excited about that. But full you, on tiki. I know. I, I mean, I'll be in the chat. Watching, yeah, perfect. Can't wait. Reproducing everything that you're. I can't you're doing. wait. Yeah, I'll, I will have the I'll have the, the iPad. I will be I know. reading stuff. You're so. in charge of the iPad and the live chat next very week. Nervous. So that very that nervous. should be fun just yeah. alone. That. It's going to be amazing to watch. <laughs> yes. yeah. So thank Train you everybody crap. for tuning in. Um, I'm off, but Scott is here. We have our very special guest, Robert, in next Friday. And um, yeah, thank you so much. We'll, we, we'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>